Okay, I just wanted to talk about the VCA because there are some cool functions in the VCA. First of all, you have a volume knob. So that's helpful. Uh, the other thing is right now we have it set to EG2, which means envelope two, which is marked VCA, is controlling the amplifier. And as you can see, we only have ADS here and the decay and the release are sharing a knob. So, uh, which is actually pretty common on vintage synths, uh, but that's something that's happening here. So that's going to have an effect. I've noticed that when you have everything off, it's like the sustain is up. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's probably helpful in some way. Okay, so EG2 controlling the amp. We also have the ability to have cycle, which uh, where the LFO triggers envelope two for the VCA. Which is a pretty cool function. You have that going on. It's actually triggering both envelopes. Then we have the gate, which is a little bit quieter, I've noticed. But that allows you to have uh, these envelopes free in case you want to do individually associated things, like for example, uh, the like the pitch modulation on oscillator one. You could have EG one controlling that. And the pitch uh, modulation on oscillator two. You could have EG two controlling that, and then just have the gate opening and closing whenever you play to give you the sounds that you want. So you have that uh, possibility, and then also you have bypass which just has everything open all the time. So you can do all the crazy sounds that you want to do. Or whatever. So you have all of those options. I also should point out that on the back you have audio out you have two different inputs uh, for two different audio sources, which I think can also act as modulation sources. And you have MIDI in and MIDI through. So there's a lot of options on the back. And that is pretty much this synthesizer. But of course, the options you have for creating sounds with this synthesizer would be difficult to fit into a gigantic series of videos, simply because it has such uh, complex functionality.